opening in here. Welcome to our glory drop TV. Here is the breaking news. Yes, Russia's war in Ukraine. Today's covering, yes, Russia launched one of the its biggest aerial assaults Thursday with 81 missiles targeted at Ukrainian infrastructure across the country. This included six Kinzhal ballistic missiles that eluded Kyiv's air defenses. The Ukrainian military said at least 11 people were killed. President Vladimir Zelensky, in an exclusive interview with CNN, said he could not in the sales meeting President Vladimir Putin as the Russian leader cannot be trusted. CNN has published exclusive reporting on the secret talks that ended the siege of the Azovastrol steel works in Mariupol in May last year. At least 11 people have been killed by a wave of Russian missile strikes across Ukraine overnight. Thursday, sparking calls for more weapons, shipments and sanctions against Russia. As well, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is operating its emergency mood after damage caused by Russian selling disconnected it from the power grid. Massive Russian strikes overnight Thursday. At least 11 people were dead and more than 20 injured following a barrage of 81 Russian strikes against critical infrastructure across Ukraine. The strike used advanced missiles that Ukrainian forces cannot shoot down, said a spokesperson for the Ukrainian Air Force, adding that the strikes constitute an attack like I don't remember seeing before. Ukraine PM calls for more weapons and sanctions. Ukraine's Prime Minister Denis Selmhal called on Western allies to supply more weapons to Ukraine and impose more sanctions on Russia following the strikes. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said it has been a difficult night, claiming that Russian missiles hit critical infrastructure and residential building. Kremlin question Nord Stream report. A media report that a pro-Ukrainian group may have been behind last year's attack on the Nord Stream gas pipeline is hard to believe. The Kremlin said Thursday it was too difficult a task that only a well-trained special state service could handle. There are not many of them in our world, he said. Nuclear power plant operating in emergency mode. Yes, the Japorzia nuclear power plant has been completely disconnected from Ukraine's power grid due to Russian selling and it is operating in emergency mode. There is enough diesel on site to power generators for 15 days, according to the International Atomic Energy Agency. Iran testing weapons in Ukraine, says US officials. Ukraine is becoming a battle lab for testing Iranian weapons outside of the Middle East. A senior US defense official said Thursday, the official added that Russia is willing to transfer advanced technology to Iran in order to receive Iranian lethal aid. BNDAS report. Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.